What are you two up to? So today, Ali and I are breaking waves. Breaking waves. We're gonna service our winches. Um, and Ali's done this before. I've never done this before, and I've wanted to do it for a long time. So I'm very excited because it's riveting work. It's yeah. riveting work, exactly. Is that it? It is weird, me not doing a boat project. I feel very out of control right now. Like I want that screwdriver in my hand. Yep. Sorry. Right. Ben is the same. <laughs> That's pretty dirty. Look at all that corrosion. Surfacing our winches has been on the to-do list for a while, and a recent surprise means we may not get to all six of them before our time in Barra is up. New passport, hopefully. I got my old one back. Woohoo! I'm free. Well, it's different. Might look like a serial killer, but <laughs> whatever. Since Bill's passport is back, it means we can leave Barra now and head to Puerto Vallarta, our final port in Mexico and jump off point to cross the Pacific. What was really bad? So far, this has been one of the hardest. Like the grease that was in here, this little lip, and then um, these are really hard too, the gears. So I've been going back and forth um, between using soap and water and spraying the degreaser and then soap and water and the degreaser. It's taking a couple hours to do this one wind. Yeah. They're pretty dirty. So we are now deep in the throes of preparation for crossing to French Polynesia. And we're getting prepared on many different levels and many different projects, but one of them is learning French. And in order to do so, I am using Babbel. We chose to use Babbel because their courses are designed by real language teachers. It was scientifically proven to help you learn a language within three weeks, which is really quick. I like to do everything kind of fast. It's been critical for us here in Mexico to learn a little bit of Spanish and, you know, be able to communicate with the locals, especially when you're trying to find parts and stores and hardware stores and food stores and all that stuff. So it's important for us to be able to have some sort of language skills when we get on the ground in French Polynesia, and that's why we're using Babbel. Let's go to Paris for a weekend. Which pronoun goes with the picture here? Ella. Yay. Ella. 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 Which pronoun goes with the picture here? Uh, two. Je. 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 She doesn't want a gun. Which pronoun goes with this picture? Il. Il. With the season changing over to spring shortly and summer travel just around the corner, now is a perfect time to try Babbel, and we're offering our subscribers 60% off their subscription. What language are you guys going to try to learn? Leave us a comment. Click the link to get 60% off your subscription. Is that eating? Let's see, this one's in good shape compared to what it was. This one, um, much cleaner. But yeah, these grooves were not easy. That was all the crud okay. in those. I think it's almost time to start assembling. Yeah. One of the springs for the poles was bent 90 degrees. It wasn't flicking back properly. So I just replaced the springs on these two poles on this gear. So they both have fresh springs in them. So this, yeah, it's like this one sticking. we haven't changed like yet. Like it should be springy. So it's, pop, it's not that hard to pop that, you just got a screwdriver in there. Um, we also just spent some time cleaning the, I don't know what the right name for that is, but base. that thing. The mess. And base then the, the base, and then this, this took me a the long drum. time, the drum, because there was gunk, there was gunk like all in these grooves that was so hardened on, I had to use multiple rounds of the, yeah, with multiple rounds of that degreaser. So it is reassembly time. <laughs> we just watched back the time lapse to make sure we know how to do this. We're probably gonna have to stop a few times. Um, yeah, and double check the video, so. But as we go, we're gonna be greasing everything. That's like really important. Um, and all gears and everything that moves is getting this. Um, and then this is for the pawls, those little uh, things that Bill was changing the springs for. They're gonna get this, uh, who's it by? It's by Lumar as well, it's an Lumar. oil. Lumar oil. The gear will uh, bog down that spring, it's too thick, so the oil just keeps them lubricated. 
they're not like a moving part as much as the gears are, so you don't need to protect it, you just need to keep it lubricated. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay. Spin it. Oh, that sounds nice. Fresh. Greasing up the center of the assembly, I don't know what you call this thing. You want a very thin layer of grease, you don't want to have like chunks of grease. You want it fully coated, but you also don't want like clunky grease that's going to clog up the gears. Greasing up our second set of gears. Yep. Okay. Okay. There you go. Give her a spin. Yeah. Nice. All right, now we gotta build it back up the self tailing mechanism. Grace's gonna start dinner, so I am uh, just wrapping this up here. Hopefully. <laughs> Last little bits of assembly. Beauty. <laughs> Today is kind of a fun day. Um, it's a Sunday and I am working on the initial setup of our Mantis dive compressor. Um, we haven't used it yet, we bought it a few months ago. Uh, we're in Mexico, the water is not super clear and it's been cold. Uh, when we were up in the Sea Cortez where it is clear. Anyhow, the GoPro battery just died. Um, but like I was saying, we're going through and setting up the Mantis dive compressor for the first time. Uh, basically it involves adding some oil. Uh, I checked to make sure there's an air filter in there. Um, there is, so that's good. It's a little bit hard to get into the chamber. There's a like pressure relief valve and I got in there. Uh, so far it seems really well engineered. And I have to fill it up with cooling water. Um, so basically it will only, you could use RO water or distilled water. And we have some RO water uh, still in the tank. We're at a dock right now, um, which is why I want to run a compressor while we're plugged in. Because we did use one of our tanks. We let Small World borrow one of our dive tanks in order to uh, do some propeller maintenance on their boat. So I needed to fill that up before we leave, and it's a good test to make sure everything is operational before we get out of here. Well, I still have time to order some spare parts for it and that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm playing with today. Take some water out of the tank with our drill pump. Okay, so we have water in the cooling chamber now, and that's basically, it's a water-cooled system. Uh, compressing air generates quite a bit of heat. So um, there's a water cooling and a radiator that's moving and cycling a water pump that's cycling water through the unit to cool it. Pretty cool. Okay, so the next step is gonna be adding oil. Here's a sight glass for it. I gotta put it right in there. Check oil level daily. You can see it's pretty close. It has to be just above that red thing. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. Okay, next is threading in this oil breather hose. Screw that on in. I actually broke one of these in storage ready, so I have a spare. Uh, just they're easily knocked, like snap. So I'm gonna maintain this cap here for for just when I'm storing it, and only put this in when I'm. Uh, using the unit. The ring is squished. There we go. Okay. Okay. Next up is uh, plug her in and get the tank out. And now, reading the instructions for the initial setup. Uh, first step, they say, to connect the cylinder. Okay. Probably seal this up. And then they say, let's see, open the tank.
It's only a 20 bar. So next step is turn on the water pump. Okay, here it going. Turn on this. This is the temperature gauge. Hour meter. I can't tell you how cool this is, guys. Go pull your own air tanks and breathe underwater. Especially going to South Pacific where there's not gonna be dive shops everywhere. Like two motos, fill our scuba whenever we want. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Super stoked to have this on board. Kind of like setting in. I just put it on a boat and built this shelf and didn't really plan on using it. Now it's kind of getting real. That number is reading 53 Celsius. It can only operate up to 75. We're in a pretty hot environment. Um, so you can add ice to the water or shut it down and continue to fill. Regardless, pretty slick piece of machinery this thing. I'm just draining out the cooling water out of the radiator. Surprised how hot that got. Doing this job though. It's like a little valve here I took out. Overall, pretty cool. That's a pretty neat system. I'm gonna go research more on dive compressors. I don't actually know how they work and I wanna know more. Okay, so it is winch number two today, which is this guy and it is a cloudy day, which is actually kind of nice. It should be a little cooler out here than it was last time. Um, this winch shouldn't be as bad as this one was, but it's it's not great. Uh, Bill took it apart just a few minutes ago, and yeah, it, it needs some love. Um, real talk, I'm having a bit of an off day. I am on that hormone treatment and for the most part I've been doing well, but I definitely have uh, some symptoms like brain fog and insomnia has been the worst one recently. So um, I'm tired today, but I'm pushing through because <laughs> we should be leaving the marina soon. Bill has his passport back. So we're just trying to nail out, nail down some last little projects here, um, take advantage of having hose water at the dock and stuff um, before we leave. So I'm hoping to do actually two winches we'll see um last time what i actually found worked the best out of everything we did was to use this degreaser um and let the part sit so i'm going to do soap and water and then i'm going to degrease let it sit scrub degrease so kind of do it in stages over the day um yeah so that's the game plan and I'll be really looking forward to getting this one done. It was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> We're making progress on our to-dos, but we'll pause soon to move Calico Skies. Our friends Allie and Ben already left this morning. Bye, Calico! Yeah, bye, bud. It's been fun. Yes! See you in a couple weeks or a week. Whatever. They've gone up to Puerto Verta, where we'll be headed soon, to stage for our crossing, planning to take advantage of access to its many resources in the form of hardware, marine, and provisioning stores. This one is actually in a lot better shape. So that's great. Good start. Well, it is a rainy day, extremely rare, and it's 70 degrees and I'm absolutely freezing. Um, it's just crazy. But uh, yeah, it, we didn't believe the forecast when we saw that it was gonna rain because it never ever rains. And if it does, it's like a little sprinkling, but it's definitely raining. Uh, and we are finding leaks. Yeah, we haven't seen rain in like a year and a half. 
It's actually kind of helpful for me because I didn't know where to look. So now I know where to look. Okay. So can you show everybody what, what's leaking without without me having to come down? <laughs> Looks like a little bit of water is coming in here. Uh, I think it's actually coming mostly from the anchor locker there. There's like a little bit of a lip seal there that I think I broke the I broke the sealant when I was uh, reinstalling the windlass. So I'll have to go fix that now. Uh, now that I know about it. Yesterday I left the um, the winch just soaking. Like I I finished all this these parts of it. And then I sprayed the drum with the um, degreaser and I worked on this. Um, so I need to do one more scrape on this one and finish the drum. And then we can reassemble. Grease her up and reassemble. Um, which is gonna be kind of a wet job, but um, we are trying to get out of here. So we need to wrap, wrap our projects up. <laughs> out today we had one rainy day and today turned out to be absolutely beautiful um, sun shining it's a little cooler but I didn't finish that winch yesterday it seems like spacing it out is nice because even though this winch was slightly better than the other one it was still really bad and I really had to scrape um, to get off the gunk and so I just kept treating it with the degreaser and letting it sit so now Today we're gonna reassemble. Bill's gonna help me with that. I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be the greaser. That is my official job. And Bill's going to just be the assistant. You ready, honey? Yep. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> so I think it's two drops. That one goes in there. 